Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're in Grand Haven. It's been a beautiful morning. Really kind of the picturesque summer morning that you wait for, and Coast Guard is kicking off in just uh, a few hours. And really, it's a reminder that this is about the Coast Guards. We got a Coast Guardsman, Chris, here joining us this morning. Chris, thanks so much for coming out here and uh, waking up early. Yeah, no problem. So it's a huge celebration, and I was just talking with Chris, you know, we're talking about this 10-day festival, 300,000 people coming out. But you guys are actually pretty busy during this, even though it's a celebration of you guys. Uh, what are you going to be doing this week to make sure everyone stays safe? Um, so yeah, it's pretty bittersweet. It's a it's a cool thing for sure, but we are very busy. Um, we do a lot of planning to get ready for this, not just us, but the SFO across the street, the festival committee, and uh, a big part of it is just being out there doing safety zones for all the events and just responding as we need to. Definitely. So you guys are a huge portion of what keeps everyone safe in the summer and year round. The Great Lakes are huge. So many people flock to the coast here. So kind of what does your day to day look like for anyone that doesn't really know? Um, a big part of our day is we, we do a lot of training, we do a lot of maintenance, just everything that we need to do to be ready to go for when something happens so we can be prepared. Definitely. So a lot of history. We're in Escanaba Park. What is it like to be in Coast Guard City, USA as a Coast Guardsman? Um, you know, I've been I've been to a station and lived in a lot of other small towns like this. and. Uh, I think the support from the community here is pretty incredible, like like nothing I've seen anywhere else. So that's pretty cool. Definitely. So Chris is actually from Vermont, and we were just talking about Michigan. What is it like to be in West Michigan and and be able to spend your time here and stationed here? Um, summers are incredible. Winters are rough, just like <laughs> a lot of other states I've lived in. But the summers make it worth it. I think all the small inland lakes super cool. There's a lot of exploring to do. So. I really like that aspect of it. All right, well, Chris, we really appreciate your time and appreciate all your work because, again, like we were saying, he's going to be busy all, all week long. This is especially busy for you guys as thousands and thousands of people are going to be coming. But, guys, we're going to be talking all morning long a little bit about this festival, what you can expect. So much already kicking off just today alone and in our next half hour. We're going to talk about some of the fun events that whole families can really gather around and enjoy this year, new this year, too. All right, Ellie. Wonderful. Gosh, so much fun things going on at the festival I this know. year. And then we have to remember, though, to honor our coasties, and that's what it's all about, really, right. right? All right, Elliot, thanks so much. Let's get a look at your forecast.